What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more One Piece. Today we're doing episodes 301 to 305. Remember, guys, check out that Patreon if you guys want early access or the full uncut versions. Before we get into the episodes, we do have a question over on the Discord. If you guys didn't know, I have a Q&A section on the Discord where you guys can ask me any question pertaining to any anime, and I'll try to answer it during the next reaction to that episode. This one comes from Caden or Kevin. He asks, if you accidentally have you if you have accidentally eaten a zoan type fruit, A what animal would you most want to become and b what animal would you absolutely not want to become good question good question okay i'm going to assume i'm not in the one piece world fighting to be king of the pirates because fighting and utility are a little bit different i'm gonna say i think because i'm trying to remember whether it was chaka or pell from alabasta i think it was pell i think i'm gonna have to go pell just the ability to fly and have that sort of mobility and freedom in the world is one of the coolest things and how he helped with that bomb and the clock tower and everything like that like that was i love i've always wanted to be able to just fly and roam free so that would probably be number one for what i want to become and what animal would i absolutely not want to become i'm not gonna say it's insulting because he has definitely shown me that it's stronger than you would think especially with the wacky goofy ness he was fighting but i'm probably gonna not want to become a giraffe shout out kaku you, your fight with Zoro was insane, but probably not a giraffe at all. Uh, thank you for the questions, though. Great question. Like I said, you can always ask me anything. Check out that Patreon and check out all the other social medias. We're live on this on Twitch watching this right now. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, all of the above. Let's not waste any more time. Hop right into these One Piece episodes. Let's do it. All right, here we go. First episode. This is 301. Oh, the water's uh, ebbing out. I'm assuming because of the amount of warships coming in, or no, it's because the gates are open. That makes more sense. Which, they said, we're not going back anymore. We've got to go forward it, past the gates of justice. I'm excited to see headquarters and impel down. That, the size of them. Tell me why my dumbass was assuming that Buster Call was going to be coming from the other side like any other ship, but no, of course it would come from headquarters. I'm an idiot. I love how we know how deep a Buster Call really is and how terrifying it is. Shout out, Golly Law. Shout out, Frankie fam. Yeah, you underestimated him quite a bit. I actually like it better that Frankie would be the one to catch up to them, only because how much Spandam was intricate in getting Frankie the position he's at right now, almost dying, and Tom, all that. I hope Frankie whoops Spandam's ass, I won't lie to you. What, are you gonna tie that around her neck? And drag her? Hell nah. Fuck no, I'm not saluting Spandam. I just like the way they do their salute. But not to Spandam, hell no. I'll do it to like Garp or something. At least it's not her neck, but he is dragging her like a dog and it's pissing me off. I mean, that man Frankie was able to survive a sea train head on. I don't think your little landmine is going to do anything to him. I, at least I hope. Shout out the faith you still have. That's why you're such, such a ride or die. Can't stand this guy. Can't stand him. Yeah, your dad might have told you some fucked up, twisted story, but it's not what actually happened. Yeah, I know. Was your. Yeah, you can see the resemblance, and there's Spandam Spandine. 
Hate these guys. Yeah, your dad shot Professor Clover. He need you and him. Your whole bloodline needs to die just for that alone. For you and me both, live. Shout out my girl. Mmm, just a laugh alone. And why are you rubbing it in her face? That's all I'm saying. Look at this, man. When he finally does get his comeuppance, I hope it does happen. I will be so happy. It'll be such a good moment. Vengeance for Olvia, Saul, Frankie, Tom. Yeah. Don't just. Mm. That's how hard she's clenching her fist, digging into herself. Shout out. Think about how much time you're wasting, Span. I'm just sitting here. And... The mine did go off. Might launch him off, but he's gonna. He's gonna fling back. Could event something. You're so close, Frankie. Come on. Now he's running like a little pussy. Uh huh. He's not crying because of how. I mean, she is because of how upset she is, but not because of sadness, because of how angry she is. Ooh, I can't wait till she gets out of these cuffs. That's gotta be the boy Frank. With the arms left. Maybe that was Soga King? Is that why? No, did they, were they able to catch up? No, because they would have had to have passed Luffy. Yeah, show me that again. I'm down, I'm down, I'm down for a little replay of him getting shot. That's a good start. We need a little more ass whooping. There's no one on the bridge. Sniper boy? It's gotta be Kabuto, right? Kabuto and Soga King? He's taking out fools. Y'all ever played any shooter game where you, there's a sniper out there and you have no idea where he's at? I see a cape blown in the wind. Come on. That's, that's one of the bars that will stick with me for a while. Shout out my boy Saul. It's crazy how so far every giant we've met, Dory, Bragi, Oemo, Kashi, and Saul are all legends. You have those friends now, Robin. You've done it. I knew it, that boy. The fact that he's sniping from that far on top of the Tower of Law? Oh my god! Sniper King. Lu lu la la lu. This man's a fucking icon. Oh my god. He's singing his fucking intro. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you gotta sing his intro, come on. Hit him again. He is the sniper king, goddammit. That is so funny. Loo, loo, la, la, loo. Run, girl. Get to running. Shoot her dead enough to keep her alive. <laughs> what the fuck kind of oxymoronic shit is that? Frankie. Oh, he's back. And you know that boy can tank bullets. That man's an android. He's a cyborg. Absolute icon. I 
I love this like front line we're putting on for her. Got the cover fire from Soga King. We got the front line tank from Frankie. Look at that man. It's so crazy it being Frankie because of how much he was told to be afraid and worried about Robin back in the day from Tom. And now look at him putting his body on the line for her. Don't tell me it's got cola in it. Ah, the keys. Should have all the. That is true. Let's get her out of these goddamn cuffs. <laughs> Everyone who's fought damn hard. Okay. I know, Robin, start hitting some Ocho floors, train to floors. Come on. <laughs> that's that's hella good feeling just look at all that they're knocked out asses we got some good ass fights don't take all the credit i appreciate you one of luffy coon's gang come on come on get this man knocked out come on <laughs> he deserves that times a hundred. Slap the fuck out of that man. <laughs> Good, yeah. Oh, I needed that. It's literally a never ending cycle. Yeah, what the hell was that? Don't tell me Buster Call's already here. Ooh, that was a crazy way to end an episode, I won't lie. <laughs> Ooh, I am ready to get to the next one. All right, this is the next episode, 302. That's definitely a cannonball coming in. I'm assuming from the Buster Call, are they already here? I hope not. I'm hoping that's just the ship that they're going to leave with Robin on firing that. Oh... If I see more than one come out from the distance, if I see like... Oh yeah, Ice Admiral. Yep. Oh lord. Won't lie, the jackets they be wearing, fucking drippy. That is true. The scars look kind of badass with his eye patch. Can't even tell if that's just a shadow or an eye patch, but it looks fire. They're really gonna blow up everything to smithereens. That would make sense. I like how there's an actual reason for that. But here we go. Time is of the essence. Let's get going. Uh, there goes the Tower of Law. Usab, you better get down. Bro. I love just the full circleness of the Tower of Law, too. Kaku cut it where it was slightly leaning, and now even the drawbridge, everything's coming down. Buster Call really puts an end to everything. Yeah, there's no way. He, he, he had to have done something. Good, he did jump. You guys better catch him. Nope. Okay. That's what I'm saying. At least catch the man. I love how the vibe is just so much more up now that Spandam's getting his ass whooped and Robin's freed from those shackles. I would agree. I would agree. That's a great way of getting out of here. The AC says, is not a hunt. How many? I don't know specifically my math like that. You are right. 16. You'd be like DAC Ucho or DAC Uno, DAC Dos. A face slap on all of them. Brain does 30. Okay, I love their teamwork now. 
don't have to kill him. Just incapacitate him. Nail him to the ground. My man hit the Ginyu pose. Shout out. Frankie's grown on me astronomically over this art. Like, I low-key did not like him when we first met him. At least the water's calm now, so there's not raging whirlpools. But they said, I gotta get the f*** out of here. So have Chopper and Kokoro. Chimney and Ganbei. Looks like they're making their way. Love to see it. Okoro's got a little sprint in her. That's what I'm saying. Get that, get that liquor in her. Power of alcohol is amazing. All right, be Tom, man. <laughs> Damn. Can't wait to see Iceberg again, too, man. Shout out the fucking Frankie fam. Shout out Tom. One big happy family, man. <laughs> I just don't understand how Chimney's not scared at all. Huge shout out. So we pretty much have everyone at least collectively moving towards the bridge. But we can all get out of here. Alright. Back to the fight. I've been yearning for... A signature gear two pose. Now they're both shaving. <laughs> I love how he timed it perfectly for that. Luffy was still able to dodge it. Yeah, you weren't expecting him to be this fast, huh? My oh, man's got his own, what's it called, paper art? Man's got his own dodging abilities now. Ooh, he's on the back end right now. He's on the defense. I'm just as curious as you are, Luchi. I'm just as curious as you are. I wonder how long he's going to be able to keep up this form, though. Oh, speak of the devil. As we know, without gear 2, I'm not sure Luffy will be able to take Luchi. Is that why he's out of breath? Oh! So once he gets a little bit of physical training, he'll be He's pumping his blood to the point where normally your heart would explode, but because his internal organs can expand because he's rubber, like that's a crazy explanation for it. How does Oda come up with creative shit like that? He uses his leg as a it's all making sense now. Well, that's kind of an asshole move. I won't lie to you. I do really enjoy Luchi's voice actor. He's always calm, cool, and collected. Always intimidating. Battleships are here. Oh, yeah. That's ten of them. And like that one Vice Admiral said, as soon as they're in attack range, they're indiscriminately blowing up all of Annie's lobby, so... Yep, they're already getting blown to smithereen. I need... All these guys, Oi Mokashi, Sodom, Gomorrah, Frankie Fam, Golly Law, I need them all to make it out. And then we'll meet up 
put them back at water seven after everything's done, they'll be happy. Is that another one? That's another one. Okay, these vice admirals are looking kind of intimidating. They look pretty damn strong. I'm down for a fight with them too. Just give us a couple episodes to recoup, get our energy back, but I don't know how this is gonna go at all. Okay. These episodes are going by quick, I won't even lie. I won't even lie to ya. All right, we skipped 303 because it was filler. This is 304. They are really laying waste to their own area that they own. They don't I like how they don't even ask questions with a buster call. They said, what? You said blow, blow the bitch up? Yep, got you. Like, I'm like, are you sure? Like, this is our judicial headquarters. You, you, okay, I guess, you know. Oh my God, look at how fucking big those warships are. Like, how long does it take someone to build something like Annie's Lobby? Like, that, he must have some master builders. Look at his fucking face. Look at the size. Look at the scale of these ships. Yeah. And imagine this happening to your home with everyone you know and love. Like, this is probably bringing back a load of PTSD from her. Or, yeah. Literally the most traumatizing thing that's happened in her entire 28 years. Even the evacuees all got blown to smithereens, bro. That's so crazy. Fucking Akainu. When we see him, when I catch you, Akainu, ooh, when I catch you. Damn. Oh, I don't think we got to see what it actually looked like when it was done. Oh, Hara got blown to smithereens. Is the Buster call? Mm, mm, mm. I wonder what's gonna happen to CP9. Are they gonna get caught up in the explosion, or because they're in the Tower of Law, it's gonna be avoided? They're mainly focusing on the island itself right now. <laughs> All 10 of them. How many ribs do we have? Is it 12? 14? I didn't even notice Kokoro has proper tied to her hat. That's so funny. See, I know it's going to be... If Gear 2 is pumping his blood like that to over-circulate his everything, what is Gear 3? And why does he turn small? Like, I need to know. Let me see it. Of course, they're not going to show me, but I need to see it. It's very signature. He does his leg thing to pump the blood. What does fighting the thumb do? Same attack on Titan. Like, now I understand why he pumps his leg, you know? We're going to run into the... Into a flow of running water. Not safe for anyone. That is quite the river of water as they're turning around, understandably, but like, how are we going to get through this? Oh, they're standing on the goddamn rafters now. Wouldn't that be bad for you too, Mr. Devil Fruit user? Oh, you answered my goddamn question. He's a pussy. So we're, it's like tech in Mortal Kombat. We're changed the fighting ground. We're going up. Changing the battlefields from down there. That was elegant as hell. This looks like just a bigger version. I respect his decision. Luchi's by far the biggest threat to us right now, but... And he's got full and utter confidence and faith in his allies. I like that reasoning. 
but you're no longer second gear, so I don't know how we're going to win this fight. Oh, he's here in the water as well. They just kept running. They didn't give a fuck. So now we should meet up right behind this water in a second. Ooh, as it cuts from that fight to the cannon fire. Them hitting each other with them fists might as well be cannon fire. Hey, they're going they're going tit for tat right now. My man Luffy. Ooh. Ooh. Animation is kind of going crazy right now. Good dodge. Okay, Destructo Tempest Kick, chill out. Wrapped around his leg, I like this creativity. Oh, rifle's always one of my favorites. Damn, he really tanked that. Iron Body Empty Tree. This is a real deal fight. Wow. That's the thing. He's so dangerous in this form with some claws. Ooh, yep. He's going to twist you around with that built up momentum. That was hella creative. My man Luffy's not the smartest when it comes to arithmetic or any other thing else. When it comes to battle expertise, my man is insanely smart. What? That looks like it'll pierce the f*** out of you. Ooh. Man's just flicking his way to victory. What is this, Scientific Railgun, whatever that show is? Oh, it's about to be a super flick. Oh, it really is. I just don't know how much more Luffy could take. And if he goes third gear, second gear was already would kill a normal person. So I don't know how his body would physically be able to handle that. But I do want to see it. No, he did not. That's back to his second gear form. The thumb. I was just talking about that. <laughs> He cut a little incision by biting into his thumb and then he just blows to expand himself. Giant instead of jet, like it's fast, it's giant. We know. We know Luchi's iron body is the toughest of them all. That didn't take... That took the entire room they were fighting in down. Oh my god. When he says giant pistol, he's not joking. Oh my... Don't end the episode right there. Oh my... I'm so glad I'm doing one more. Holy moly. They're like, that's member of CP9, Rob Lucci. Yeah, you would have fallen on the water and he would have died. We have no choice but to keep going. Yep, until you see the water and then you're like, okay, never mind.
He did warn you. Yeah. That's a good point. The bear just to see this far down would make sense how thick this area is. And there they go. That would be me. I would be sprinting for my life. I mean, Luchi has that order as well, but technically, it was, I just assume spam him because he's like the chief. It makes sense because there's a secret organization in the government, you know. Even Vice Admiral saying that. Cypher poll number nine, I mean. Your whining hurts my ears. So they were talking about Lucy. Five hundred soldiers got captured by pirates. Oh, are we getting a flashback? Fifteen years ago. Anytime I see pirates in a flashback or anything, I always look if it's someone I can recognize. This guy looks crazy. Looks like Wario with that mustache. Did he get it? I get that, stuck between a rock and a hard place, you know? Kind of a, kind of a W answer. Also a fair rebuttal. You can tell that's Luchi right there. 15 years ago, yeah. Definitely just a boy. He's got that swagger he got right now, even when he was a kid. Look at young Luchi. I like how he calls him Prey with his skin leopard ass. Or Jaguar, whichever one he is. Model leopard, right? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Why does this boy make hey he's got that swagger, he's got that walk, you know? So 15 years ago, this man was putting down pirate insurrections as a child? That is crazy. I wonder how much of the six powers he has mastered right now. Has he always had them mastered since he was a, a youngin, or is he like narrow on the train where he only has a few of them mastered? I just remember meeting him in Water 7 and being like, I like this guy. He's cool. But never would I have ever thought he had a story like this, you know, or he was as strong as he is. Ever in my life. Same with Kaku. Definitely at least knows a few of those powers. Now I want to know who taught him these powers. I want to know who's the teacher of the six six powers, you know? The Wario Pirates. That's exactly who these guys are. So he let himself be captured, taken to the warehouse where the hostages are. I wonder how long he's had his devil. Wait. 
I thought for sure he was going to deal with the pirates and free the hostages. My man is murdering the soldiers of a kingdom in literal cold blood. He did say to spend him, his main motivation in being in CP9 was to gave him a license to kill. I guess that takes care of their issue of needing... That's what I'm wondering. Like, are you questioning? What? I do like their jackets, man. They say justice on the back. I don't fuck with that, but I do love their jackets. As the blood drips from his finger. Okay, that's kind of bullshit, but... Okay, I don't know about that, but... See, now I'm glad Lucy wasn't a part of Alabaster. That would have been much different. He just iron bodies it. And as soon as he stands amongst the fire, he kills them all. Literally, he took direct cannon fire to his back. And Captain is now dead. I like how it's kind of like the logo of the government. That's insane. Dark Justice. Now we're up to date with... Luffy said, I'm not done with you. You're going to fly off to the ship. I'm going to come right there with you. In third gear. A third gear battle axe? Giant axe? Is it a giant? He literally has the si a foot the size of a giant right now. I love how we're constantly changing locations of this fight. It's like round three now. That's, I love his different form. That's full leopard. He goes normally the half and half. Good, the bone balloon. Bro, that is insane. That is a good point. Especially because of the, just the physical mass that he's moving like that, you know, it makes sense. Victory bird. I like the design of that. Cuts through the mast. It does make more sense with that flashback why he's just so utterly confident in anything. He's been that way since he was a fucking little kid. Never had anyone even come close to him. And they, not only in current CP9, but the history of how long CP9 has been a thing. They're just that confident Luffy's going to survive out of this. Just why not help him out with Luffy? That is a valid... These Marines do not give a fuck, bro. I cannot believe how just dark this shit gets out of nowhere. He just should have killed his own man just for asking the. I guess he did question him, but you shouldn't question your superior officer in that. In the Marines, but still. Okay, that was fire. Oh my god, I want to watch four more right now. I'm so butthurt. All right, those episodes were fantastic i love the little mini flashback we got of luchi i'm loving actually seeing gear three and gear two explained how gear two is a, a pump circulation expansion of his blood which normally would 
with how much your blood is now circulating would kill anyone make anyone's heart explode but because he's rubber it's the only reason that allows him to do that mixed with like gear three where he's able to blow air and expand his bones and everything like that make him all more dirt like it's crazy like i there are many power-ups where they're just literally stronger but this has an actual scientific somewhat explanation for it. it's like a mix between science and a mystical because it's one piece you know i'm so just baffled that oda is able to create crazy stuff like this like his mind is just i need to i need to dive in there but i'm loving the fight like i said i'm loving how we're changing scenery it's like we're getting multiple rounds we had round one two now we're on round three i don't know what's gonna happen with nami and the gang flooding in the water frankie and robin everything with soga king up top that was so cathartic that was such an amazing moment i love robin i love the mini flashback again seeing olvia seeing clover seeing saul the buster call is officially here the marines are so dark and so like there are certain marines that i have high hopes for like kuzan garp is 1930 samurai guy um kobe helmepo obviously but if kobe ends up getting a high rank in the marines this man needs to do some reform because this shit is way too dark i would love to see my boy again i don't know how we're gonna make it out of this we're gonna need to steal that ship and move on forward through the gates of justice because we can't go back right so we're going to seemingly impel down seemingly headquarters i have no idea how it's going to play out just know i'm here for it and i am ready for it hopefully you guys enjoyed these episodes if you did please leave a like on this video let me know your thoughts down below like always check out that patreon for early access the full uncut versions i appreciate y'all also check out that twitch because we're watching these live don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out